Hey guys, I am coming to you today from my own home because I wanted to show you some organizational tips, tricks, and uh, uses for things you might not have guessed before that I use around my own house that I thought would be helpful for you. So why don't we start here in my closet and I'll show you a couple things that I've done in here to maximize the space. I also wanted to mention that I'm not cleaning or doing anything to prepare in advance, so whatever mess you see is how I really live. Um, nothing is staged here, but this is my closet, which actually is the closet in the spare bedroom that I use as my office, so it's in my office as well. And I wanted to show you two things that I did in here to really make use of the space. So the first thing is these shelves that I put on the one shelf that goes above my uh, row of hangers here. Um, there's so much vertical space all the way up in this closet and it was getting to be a mess with just sweaters and things piled on this shelf. So I got these shelves, they're actually meant to be shoe shelves. I have the box right here actually that they came in. So they're meant to be a shoe rack, but I just put two of the shelf components side by side and made these two sets of shelves so I keep pants on the side and then I keep like sweaters and folded things on this side and I can switch these doors so you can see the sweater side better and you can see that I started trying to label some of these uh, but the problem was the labels don't really stick to the fabric shelves. So the labels only ended up staying on the the bottom wooden shelf here. But I, I'm not really crazy with the label maker, but I feel like labeling things does help just so you kind of keep stuff in categories and don't start coming up with new categories every time you put things away. And then the other thing I've done here, this maybe isn't so unexpected, but I have two sets of shoe shelves underneath the rack of clothes, again just to make use of all that space that's underneath my hanging clothes. So they're only under the shirts because that's where there's space under them. The other side of my closet has um, pants and longer dresses and things that go down further so there wouldn't be room for shoe, uh, shoe shelves under there. And I also labeled these as well so you can see I have a spot for sneakers and then you know just use the categories that work for you. So I have like a lot of black shoes so I made formal and casual uh, categories of black, silver, gray. Uh, I have dress shoes and sandals and then a bunch of like boots and other stuff just kind of stacked on the floor here. But again if you kind of categorize things it keeps you from inventing new categories every time you put stuff away and you can better keep track of where things are. So while we're in the office, I wanted to show you another of my favorite organizational tools, which are these little baskets from the Dollar Tree. And you can see this drawer is kind of a mess, but I have a couple in here, and then I have a couple more in this drawer. And it's just an easy way to kind of make your own drawer dividers, keep things organized, especially little things that you want to kind of keep them grouped together. And they're so cheap and so many uses. These come in a pack of like two or three. One dollar. So we've changed venues because I wanted to show you another place that I use those little organizer baskets is in my bathroom drawer. So you can see in this drawer I use this a uh, small skinny basket to organize some of these little things that I just want to keep together in the drawer. And then I also use one of these organizers in my medicine cabinet. Um, again, to hold all these small bottles and things that could just get cluttered and fall out of the cabinet, this just kind of holds them all together here. And while we're in the bathroom, I also wanted to show you the cabinet under the sink. Uh, this is something that actually I think was meant to be a kitchen storage item. I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond, but it's like a two-tiered rack with shelves that slide out. And I ended up using this for my hair tools. So the top shelf, I keep my hair dryer. And then in the bottom drawer, there were two sections. This is removable if you wanted to make it all one big one. Um, but I keep my straightener here and then I have like curling irons and a couple other things on this side. And the nice thing is this is all metal, so you can put your tools in while they're hot. You don't have to wait for them to cool down or put them on a rubber mat or anything first. 
So I wanted to move now to my hall closet, which is in the hallway right outside the bathroom. And when we moved to this house, our existing storage that we were using in our bathroom closet wasn't really going to work anymore. So what I ended up doing was getting all of these little clear plastic bins. And I just made little like labels for each of them and did them cute, but you don't have to decorate all that. But again, the categories kind of help us to make sure that everything has a place. So um, the categories I used were bath and hand soap, so like sa shower gels and soap bars and stuff like that. Uh, medical, so you can see there's like some Tums in here, and foot and nail supplies, so like nail polish remover and foot scrubs and anything like that. This one is for cotton and paper, so it's like cotton balls, Q-tips, uh, you can see there's some shower poofs, anything like that. Um, this one is face and skin, so I have extra like face washes and lotions and sunscreens and things. Um, this one is my hair care, which is a little bit of an overflowing mess, but this is my shampoos and products that I use on my hair. This one is dental, so um, toothpaste, toothbrushes, all of our little mini dental flosses we get at the dentist's office. And then this last one started out being for my husband's hair, but um, it's kind of everything that he uses. So like mouthwash, I don't use. This is pretty much his. Any kind of special manly soaps or anything all goes in his bin. And then down here we have cleaning supplies, um, my iron I'll talk about in one second, and then all of our towels, um, and then like toilet paper and paper towels and tissues all go here because this is where we have the space for them in this nice big closet. So you see there's all also an ironing board and our iron in here. The reason why they're up here and not in the laundry room is because this is where we had space for them. And I am a firm believer in using the space that you have. I will show you the laundry room in a second, but you'll see it didn't really make sense to try to cram those things in here. And our clothes are upstairs anyway, so that's where we'd be more likely to be ironing. So I just took a little space out of the like linen closet and put our laundry supplies in there. So the last area I wanted to show you today was our laundry room and as you can kind of see it's not really its own room. It's sort of like a mud room entry type space. This is our side door that comes in from the driveway so this is our main way in and out of the house. It connects into our kitchen over here. So it's kind of more like just a hallway that happens to have a washer and dryer in it and we didn't really have space here again for the iron and the ironing board. Um, also to hang clothes as they were drying. So my original plan was to put my clothes drying racks up on the wall and I'll show you this little hanger that I made to keep the drying racks out of the way when they weren't in use. So this was my great idea when we first moved here to put up these brackets to hold my clothes drying racks and these are just like shelf brackets like you would put a piece of wood across to hang a shelf on your wall and then just so the racks wouldn't like, come sliding off I put a little screw with a nut at the end of each one just to hold things in place. So I stored our drying racks here for a while and then when clothes were drying I would set them up here in front of the washer and dryer but it really with the door here it took up a lot of space. So what I do now is I dry our clothes upstairs in our bedroom where we have lots of empty open space and I keep the drying racks up there in a little corner and so I'm actually going to take this little bracket off of the wall in the next week or so and replace it with some cute laundry room art. And the last thing I wanted to show you here in the laundry room was the way that I organized this cabinet. So we just have this one cabinet for storage in here and I keep a lot of cleaning supplies in it. And it was getting to be kind of a mess. There was bottles and stuff everywhere. So I just got a couple of these white plastic bins. Uh, again, these are from the Dollar Tree and they're uh, just a great size to keep cleaning products. So for in this one, I have uh, like cleaning cloths and sponges and then this one has all of my like floor and carpet cleaning supplies and this one has like surface cleaning supplies. I probably should make little labels for these too. But it really just helps kind of corral all the bottles and keep them from like taking over and falling out and having to rifle through them. Every time you're looking for something you can just slide out the whole bin, take out the one bottle you need and push the whole thing back in.
So I hope you've enjoyed that little tour around my house and found it useful. These were just the first couple things that I thought of that I thought I would share with you, but I'm sure there's many other little areas where I've done things. I've already thought of a couple more. So I can definitely do another video. If there's any area in your house that's like a trouble area, leave me a comment and let me know and maybe I can address it in my next video if it's something that I've come up with some tips for. So if you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more like this. And I will see you next time.